Hey everyone, here's a quick reminder on why I like this DoD FX65. As you may have heard, Past Effects over in Australia has their own reissue coming out with some great mods, and one being a switch with my name on it, and this basically gets the sound we're going after today, which uses the upper output of the FX65 to give you an inverted sound, basically a through zero flange, but only in specific spots on the neck, and it's different with every pedal. So here's the left one, which is stock. This is the slowest speed, which I think is still too fast. Uh, but we're using the regular output. With some overdrive, it sounds like this. Now playing this little riff in A, listen to the phase cancellation that happens, especially around the A string when I go to the upper output. Almost kind of like a vibe effect there. It's kind of an asymmetrical pulse. Now let's go to the right, which I've had slowed down. This was done by my old friend, Nicholas Kula, who's now uh, working at Catlin Bread. He was over at Pro Guitar Shop with me. So basically I could get that same speed at noon and go even slower. <laughs> You don't really hear that pulse until you go closer to D. Here's the other one. And since I have that mod, I'm just going to slow it down to its uh, slowest setting, which is more like a flanger at that point. So it's kind of weird where they have different sweet spots, but of course it's, it just boils down to an analog circuit and a bucket brigade chip that is probably not identical in every unit. Of course you have component drift, you know, different pots and resistors and caps. And I'm really excited to see uh, where the past effects version uh, sits as far as where those notes fade out and cancel each other. Uh, so I'll let you know as soon as that one arrives in the States and give you an update and compare it to uh, both of these FX-65s. Thank <laughs> you. 